Hi everyone, it's Maggie again with another video in our series for getting started with ArcGIS Pro. Today we're going to be looking at making connections to your data in ArcGIS Pro. Specifically, we'll be looking at ArcGIS Online, Portal for ArcGIS, and connecting to folders on your local machine with your data. So let's get started. Here we are in our ArcGIS Pro, and you can see here that I've already signed in with my ArcGIS Online user. So we've already made the connection to ArcGIS Online by signing in if that's the way that your licenses are assigned. So when I've signed in to use my license, I've already connected to that portal in ArcGIS Online. But let's get started with a new map today. So we'll give it a name and get started. So we have our new map added, and I know that there's a map I want to work on, but that map is actually hosted in my portal. So the first thing I'm going to do is make a connection to that portal. So we're going to need to go into our project tab and to the portals section. Here, again, you can see that I'm already in ArcGIS.com or ArcGIS Online and signed in with my user, but I'm going to add a new connection to my portal. So when you select Add Portal, you have the option to enter in your URL. And here's mine going in here. And you want to make sure that you put that backslash portal at the end of your URL to connect. And you'll say OK. And there you go. You can see that your portal connection has been made. But you'll also notice that you're not yet signed in. So what you'll need to do is right click on your portal connection and select Sign In. It should open up a similar dialog to what you would have seen when signing into ArcGIS Pro for your license. And this is where you'll enter your username and your password. And sign in. And there you go, I'm signed in. But right now, I'm still actually connected to my ArcGIS Online portal, so that's the data that I'll be able to get access to. I actually want to connect to this other portal, so I'm going to right-click on it again, and then select it as my active portal. And you'll know it's active because it has this green check mark next to the symbol, and go back into my map. Great, so now I'm connected, and I can use the catalog to find the data that's on my portal. So if I select this portal option, I'll be able to see all of the content that is in there, and today I'd like to open up this map. So let's add and open. And here's my map added. But there's some data that is missing here that I know I want to work with today, and I know that that data is actually hosted in ArcGIS Online. I am still have my ArcGIS Online connection, but it's not active right now. So one thing you can that's nice to know is that you're able to change these connections while working on your map. You don't have to sign out or work in a new project. You can make these changes frequently as needed while working on your current project. So let's go back to the project tab. We'll right click on our ArcGIS.com, so ArcGIS Online portal, and set it as active. Go back into our project, and you can see that there's nothing showing up here, so we'll select on My Content and then all of my ArcGIS Online content is available. So I'll get to the data that I want. I know it's in this folder. I'd like to add the streets to this map. And then they're coming through. So we've got our data from ArcGIS Online in this same project. And now I actually need a little bit more data just to finish off what I want to work on today. And I'm going to get that data that I know I have a local copy of it stored. So I haven't got it published to ArcGIS Online or to my portal, but I do have it locally on my computer. So what you're going to do now is you're going to, in the catalog pane, you're going to open up the project tab and you'll see that you have different folders here. Um, automatically with ArcGIS Pro, it's going to give you a default geodatabase and a default folder so that you can add items there. But I want to connect to an existing folder on my computer. So I'm going to right click on the folders and do add a folder connection. So now you should be able to navigate to where on your computer your folder is stored. So I know that mine is on my D drive. I'm going to add my folder and select OK. Now it should show up in your list here and you can expand it and add any data that you need. So I will add the schools to my project. 
and my streets layer is a bit large so it's taking some time to come in but the schools are now added so in this project I have things coming from my portal from ArcGIS Online and from my local drive all at the same time one thing that's different with ArcGIS Pro than from uh, ArcGIS Desktop is these folder connections that you make here, these are specific to the project. So once you've added a folder connection to this project, when you open up a new project, you're not going to see that same folder connection. If there's a folder that you work with frequently and you know you're going to need in lots of different projects, something that you can do is you can add it to your favorites. So you can right click on it here and select Add to Favorites. Now when you open up your favorites, you'll see that that folder has been added, and this will be maintained across multiple ArcGIS Pro projects. So when you open up a new project, this folder that you favorited will show up there as well. You can also add items to your favorites directly from the favorites page right here. You can select to add databases or folders, toolboxes, you have lots of options. This way you can access those in every project because I know that there are some things you're going to be using frequently and you don't want to have to keep making those connections every single time you work on a new project. The same is maintained with your portal connections. So when I open up a new project, I'll still have the ability to access both of these portals, both ArcGIS Online and our portal for ArcGIS connection. So there you have it. This is how you get your data added into ArcGIS Pro. Hopefully this helped clear things up for you and you're able to get started on your mapping projects. If you do run into any problems making these connections, please feel free to reach out to technical support and we'll be glad to help you with that. Stay tuned for more videos in our Getting Started with ArcGIS Pro series and happy mapping!